Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Alright, so the time has come for the work week top and bottom of the deck reading. So, for those of you who are new here and don't know how I do this, I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to explain it. I go by the elements. It is still Virgo season for a couple more days, so I'm going to start off with the earth elements. Go around the wheel accordingly. If you do not know where your sun sign falls as far as the elements go, I will shout the signs out um, as I lay down cards. So, because I use four different decks for the four different elements. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Check your other placement signs. See if you can find something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our friends, the cross-watchers, are always welcome here. So, without further ado, we're going to throw them down for the Earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. One. Two. I gotta get to the bookstore and get some new decks. These things are getting pretty rough. Right. I'm gonna silence my phone so it doesn't continue to bother us. Okay. Where were we? King of Wands and the Hermits. Might be a fire sign person you're dealing with. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a Virgo. Hmm. That's interesting. I might have to do something I don't normally do and throw a clarifier on that King of Wands. I'm feeling a little bit of confrontation. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Definitely doing some introspection this week, though. Trying to figure some things out, going inside, finding that inner light, walking the path of healing, possibly. Hmm. We'll deal with that in a second. What happened? Hmm. Okay. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. The world in the reverse. Could be the distant past. Could be the not so distant past. Past nonetheless. Possibly someone trying to come in out of the cold due to some unfinished business, a cycle that didn't close out. Maybe. Again, we'll get clarity. Oh, the King of Swords. Upright. Alchemist in the reverse. Alchemist, another name for the magician. Could have been seeking some truth or clarity about a situation. This alchemist reversed. I'm hearing the word puppet strings. Just manipulation over and over again. Possibly getting some clarity in as to whether someone was pulling puppet strings or not. Hmm. Okay. What happened or what's going to happen? <clears throat> 
fast forward a little bit more to what's coming in this week. Four of Cups reversed, Ten of Wands reversed. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. <clears throat> Good news, bad news. You're walking the path to healing. You're finding the inner light. You're doing your introspection. You're doing what you're needing to be doing. Bad news. You're no longer concentrating on the coulda, woulda, shouldas of the past, but there's a potential of missing a cup, too. Why? Is there this cycle up here that didn't close out? There's a pretty heavy burden this week that you're still in the process of releasing. Maybe that's why you're doing your introspection. Okay, let's get some clarity. <clears throat> it's a good week to process. It is. I don't know how the weather's gonna be everywhere this week. I know the weather here is supposed to be pretty decent, so if you're in the Great Lakes area, Take a walk. Yeah. <laughs> Catch that last little bit of sunshine before fall and winter hits and we don't see the sun for about three months. Yeah. <laughs> Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards and the table for my Earth sign friends? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> what do we got going on here? I need a clarifier in this King of Wands. What's up with this King of Wands? What are we talking about here? Four of Swords reversed, restless energy, confrontation. Something got your fur all up. Okay. try for one card to catch two. Five of Pentacles reversed, world reversed. What's up with that? One card, please. The sun. Hmm. Okay, I might have to do more than one card. Obviously, it's about a connection. Beautiful connection. Made the sun shine in your world. Possibly with a Leo. Okay flop out. Why not? Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups. Somebody got put in the doghouse. The cycle didn't end. <clears throat> Somebody walked away with this Eight of Cups. Could have been you. Could have been them. Why is the Ace of Swords here? They don't flop out for no reason. Why is the Ace of Swords here? You know I gotta beat it to death for a second. What flipped? Somebody flipped. Who flipped? Nobody flipped. Okay. I thought I felt a flipper. Really? Went clear across the room. Well, practically. It's a small room. Ace of Cups. Ah, okay. 
things have become clear to me now. Maybe that's why your fur's all up. Somebody may have walked away to find something new, not clo properly closing a cycle, leaving somebody out in the cold. Could have been you, could have been them, I don't know. Why is the King of Swords here? I don't know because I wasn't there and I'm just reading cards. If it's setting off alarms in your head, okay. If it's not, don't take from it what is not yours. Lovers reversed, okay. One more. Seeking truth, speaking truth, logical head over heart decisions, lovers in the reverse, it just wasn't working out, things weren't equal, possibly somebody felt the connection deeper than the other person, Knight of Pentacles reversed, things went stagnant, offers got pulled off the table, okay, apparently, why is the alchemist reversed here? It's half cocked. Mm, let me take it in the reverse. One more. Alchemist reverse. Three of cups reverse. Manipulation. Pulling strings. Things not manifesting. Things not coming together. One more. One more. One more. Power moment, okay. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. It's very interesting, okay. Why the tower? Ten of cups. Oh, it's one of those towers. You know, sometimes towers fall to make room for what's supposed to be built there. Fair statement. Sometimes a tower is just sudden and abrupt change. Towers don't have to be bad. It's all about perspective. It didn't come together. Somebody could have been manipulative. I don't have any other threes on the board. I don't want to call a third party. I don't. But if it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. Don't go accusing anybody of anything. The tower came tumbling down. Somebody found their happiness. Throw another one on that. Ha! <laughs> and death just kind of flew out onto the table. Wow! Soul lesson. Spiritual evolution. The chubby little cat apparently going into the cocoon, becoming the butterfly after the tower fell, okay? Life lesson learned. Moving on to this week. Why is the four cups reversed here? Ace of Pentacles reversed. You're not concentrating on the woes of the past, but you're not letting anything else get planted either. Mm -mm. 
not taking cups, not giving cups, not seeing cups, not dealing with the cups right now. Six of Pentacles reversed comes out. You're processing. You knew the seed wasn't meant to grow. You knew things weren't equal. It wasn't... Somebody felt it more than the other one did. and You know this. Something's got your fur all up, though. It's got your fur all up. Strength reversed. You're drained. Another Leo card. Another Leo card. Could be Leo you're dealing with. Again, doesn't necessarily have to be. King of Wands. That's a fire sign. Leo is a fire sign. Again, take it however resonates. If it's there, it's there. If not, it's not. Don't take it if it's not yours. All right. <clears throat> Let's ten of Wands reversed here. How's this processing thing going to go for you this week? Justice in the reverse. We have wands in the reverse. One more on that, please. Okay. <clears throat> Knight of wands in the reverse, the world in the reverse. Why are you all upside down, Earth sign friends? You do indeed you need to walk the path this week. You need to process whatever this was. You're carrying it. Got your fur all up. You're all restless. You're even a little bit confrontational. <laughs> but ready to grab that wand. Put the wand down. Just put the wand down. I have a sense you definitely need to lighten the load on your heart and on your back. Maybe kick off some cement shoes. Go through your process and allow this cycle to come to an end. Find closure somehow. You know the seed wasn't meant to grow. You know the relationship could have been it, draining of anything. It wasn't equal. But I sense this hesitation in dealing with any of the cups. And hesitation in this is not bad. I don't think you're in a place for it right now. Fair statement. All right, let's get some advice. Queen of Wands in the reverse and the Emperor in the upright. Could be speaking of things of a certain nature. Could speak of releasing a fire sign. Could speak of just putting the wand down, not being so confrontational. But I think this little piece of advice has something to do with regaining control. Getting it back together again. Realizing your worth. definitely acknowledging your own worth because if you don't acknowledge your own worth nobody else is going to acknowledge it and that's just a cold hard fact you have to love yourself and see yourself as a beautiful person and see yourself as the emperor and as the one in charge if other people are going to view you that way because let's face it being in charge is sexy it's desirable it makes you the catch so you have to walk the path and find that within yourself Get a little piece of advice from the other deck. Page of Swords in the reverse and the Four of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Grab another 
are set for that. I know what I'm hearing, but it's not very clear. Seven of Wands reversed Queen of Cups. Okay. Do your processing first. Absolutely. But as far as this, I don't want nobody's cup. I don't need nobody's cup. I'm not concentrating on what happened up here, but I don't want nothing to do with anybody else. Don't work that way. <laughs> do whatever processing you need to do. Figure it out. Take more than a week if you want. I mean, it's your journey. I'm just reading cards. But if you don't put yourself out there, you, you're never going to find that. That, that beautiful soulmate twin flame, you know, if that's your thing, if you believe in that sort of thing. You're not going to find the celebration. You're not going to find the stability. But there again, as with the emperor and the queen of wands up here, um, you need to find the stability within yourself before you communicate that out to the universe and to other people. Seven of Wands in the reverse, Queen of Cups in the upright. Indeed, love yourself first. And don't let the inner demons overtake you. Allow for the process. Allow for the healing. Because it's extremely difficult to love other people, give and accept, if you don't love yourself. Okay? So, there you are, my Earth sign friends. That is your message for the week. If it's yours, take it. If it not, walk away. Mm. <clears throat> well, let me straighten out here. Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on with my air sign friends this week? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. where they get a little aggressive. Magician in the upright. Seven of swords in the reverse. Hmm. That's excellent. Some of you may be manifesting what it is you want in your life, and some of you may, may be wanting truth. Maybe truth will be coming to you this week about a situation. you got to be careful with this magician card, though. you got to be real careful with that. You might be in, in a phase of your life this week where you could inadvertently speak or think things into being. Just be real careful with that. The, the universe listens and listens well, but it doesn't always hear everything, so just be careful. All right, the chariot and the seven of cups in the past. Could have been distant, could have been recent. I don't know why I wasn't there. Could have been a cancer you were dealing with. I just have Aries on the board. Hmm. Somebody was pulled in two different directions about something. Could have been you. Could have been the person you were dealing with. There's options here. Throw a clarifier on that in a second. What happened after that? Fast forward a little bit. Four of Wands in the upright, Temperance in the reverse. Oh, well. It was bliss. It was celebration. 
divine union even possibly maybe but that temperance in the reverse that speaks of impatience that speaks of ne negative energy flow Hmm. Could be a Sag you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. It did put a little bit more fire on the board, though. Hmm. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a second. It's coming in for this week. Oh, well. The tower in the reverse and the Three of Cups in the reverse. Well. Manifesting truth. Tower in the reverse. I just dropped half of that deck and three of cups in the reverse. Well, excuse me, I gotta pick up some cards. It'll be all right. None of them showed themselves to me. I'm gonna put those right back there. They are as the universe meant them to be. Possibly somebody coming in or a situation occurring that might rebuild a fallen tower? I like that three of cups reversed. Hmm. Maybe that's just you deciding you don't want to reunite with someone. Maybe that's you making the decision after you find out the truth of a matter. Okay. Hmm. Let's get our clarity. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity from my air sign friends? Please, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the upcoming week. It's not going to shuffle one more time, so we're just going to cut it now. I've got to get to the bookstore. <laughs> got to, got to, got to. Okay. Why is the chariot here? Somebody acted like they wanted to talk for a second. Why is the chariot here? Three cards. Why not? King of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords. Nine of Wands reversed. Pulled in two different directions. Maybe putting some emotional distance in. That King of Cups reversed. Someone possibly could have lost the feels. thrown in the towel on a situation. Here's that communication. Knight of Swords. Somebody may have found out something they didn't want to hear. The Knight of Swords speaks truth. Somebody went bolto after they found out the truth of the matter. Kind of lost feelings through in a towel. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Holy Moses. I'm going to take you. I'm going to put you guys back. See who else comes out. Take the top one and show it itself. Seven of Wands. Confrontation. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Wands. Self-worth issues, battling some inner demons. One more on that. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Mm 
It wasn't all it was cracked up to be, was it? Someone may have questioned what cup they chose. And maybe what was in the cup wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Somebody was left with some self-worth issues, battling some inner demons, not getting the happy ending they wanted. Hmm. And it was after they found out whatever they found out. Okay. Why is the four of wands here? World reversed. One more. You want to talk. Five of Cups. This Four of Wands speaks to the divine connection. Could have been an Aries. It's a card of Aries. Take it if it's yours. If it's not, walk away. Unfinished business, great sadness. Somebody could have constantly be concentrating on three spilt cups all the time. Rather than the two cups that are still standing full. One more. <laughs> I like how you flopped out. Emperor, another Aries card. I don't like to point fingers. I don't, but that's a whole lot of Aries energy. One little one little lump right there for me. Just saying. Very in charge. Also a little confrontational. Not huge, but... Why is temperance reversed here? reversed. Mm. Could have been decent. Could have been recent. Somebody may have tried to come back and take charge. And even through the negative energy, I want to fill your cups again. I want to make you happy again. This is talking about a return. Unfinished business, chair reversed, world reversed. Somebody's trying to bring the celebration back because they're sad. Hmm. Okay. That's super strange. They could have just came back for closure, came back with truth to tell you what happened. As for this week, oh wow, this is going to be a long one. Why is the tower reversed here? Ace of Pentacles reversed. There's somebody coming back in trying to rebuild that tower. And... No, that seed's not going to grow. No, I don't think so. 
somebody coming in wanting to close the gap after initially not knowing what direction they wanted to take seed is not going to grow that house plant stayed on in the back deck for a while longer one more okay hit the floor but don't you Four swords reversed. Somebody may still be a little bit restless about it. Or they haven't laid the harsh feelings to rest. They're through the heartbreak part. But not, not the other parts that go along with the broken heart. Anger. That's another good one. I'm sensing a lot of anger off of this. Why is the Three of Cups reversed here? I think I know why it's here, but we're going to throw one on it anyway, and then we're going to get some advice. Oh, boy. Page of Swords. Somebody's speaking their truth. I don't want to reconcile, and here's why. And I'm not going to go any further into that. We're just going to get some advice for our air sign friends. The moon in the reverse and the ace of cups in the reverse. It's your journey. Do what you will. But... If certain things are being illuminated on the path and things are starting to become more clear as people come back with their truth and you don't want to take the cup with this Ace of Cups reversed, don't take it. Don't take the cup unless you know what's in it. But it's your journey. You do you. I'm just reading cards. Judgment in the reverse and the Six of Swords in the reverse. It's your judgment call. You do what you're going to do. If you choose to return, just understand you will not return the same way you were when you parted. Things have changed here. People are different. Six of Wands in the upright, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Another card of return. Also understand if this return does happen and you do decide to not do what the cards say you're going to do and you decide to reconcile, be careful what you hold on to. Because if you hold on to those negative thoughts and feelings and emotions, you know, those same ones that you had up here. Has anything really changed? You can forgive someone all day long, but can you forget? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Okay, air sign friends. That's what I have for you. night. I got two more elements to do and I'm already 40 minutes in. I don't know why this is taking so long tonight. <sighs> Maybe I'm a little off my game. Shh, I didn't say that too loud. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just getting a little wordy and a little rambly. I do that once in a while too. I don't know when to shut my pie hole. Okay. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's going on with you guys this week?
Lovers in the reverse. Hermit in the reverse. Hmm. Two lovers not exactly seeing eye to eye. Maybe the connection isn't as, as strong as it used to be. Possibly somebody has their head in the sand about it. Doesn't want to deal with the process. Okay. What happened? Six of wands in the upright. Three of cups in the reverse. Hmm. <clears throat> I got Gemini, I got Virgo, Six of Wands is a card of Leo, or any other fire sign. It could be a fire sign or a water sign you're dealing with. I'm trying to think. I can't remember. It slips in my mind what. sign the three of cups is associated with and I don't have my cheater board here so we'll just say a water sign mm. return without reconciliation possibly we'll throw a clarifier on it what's next fast forward a little bit what happened after that the fool and the queen of pentacles in the reverse Hmm. Taking a leap of faith, deciding to trust the universe, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Just run it. Whatever happens at the bottom of the cliff happens, we'll pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off. I'm not liking what happened at the bottom of this cliff. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This could be indica indicative of codependency or someone losing their self worth. We'll throw a clarifier on it in a second. I'm sensing someone jumped back into a situation. All right, as for what's coming in this week Two of Swords upright, Knight of Swords upright. Oh, me, oh, me, oh, my. Tough decisions being made. Knight of Swords, he's a messenger of truth. Truth is being spoken. Could be a phone call, it could be a text message, could be an email, it could be something that eyes weren't supposed to see or ears weren't supposed to hear. Information that you or the other person wasn't supposed to know. And things are going to be found out. Blindfolds are coming off this week, friends. Let's get a little bit of clarity. Because I don't think our friends are going to have their heads in the sand for very much longer. Catching a feeling. Catching a feeling. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards in the table for my water sign? Friends, please. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I got the Six of Wands. I don't got to clarify that. Why is Three of Cups reversed here? Something to do with friends. Didn't listen to friends. Disconnected to, from friends. Why is the Three of Cups reversed here? Ten of Swords. End to a painful cycle. Could have been a return at the end of a third party situation, too. 
with that ten of swords flying out on that. The worst of it's over. One more. One more. King of Cups reversed. Closing oneself off. Oh, wow. I'm sensing disconnecting from friends in a big way. Some of these friends were not happy about a return. I, I'm seeing hands going up. If you don't care, I don't care. I'm walking away from it. Hope the sun shines again in your life one day. Because I think they've gone through the fire with you more than once. Mm hmm And they can't watch it again. That's, that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm sensing. That's what I'm feeling. And I know I'm getting a little bit specific, but if somebody needs the message, it's just going to come out of my mouth. So why? I know why the fool's here. Why is the queen of pentacles reversed here? Queen of swords. One more. Okay, how? what position are you going to be in when you finally stop falling? Sun reversed. Hmm. Hmm. Took the leap of faith. Loss of self worth. Could have been loss of self. Another Leo card here. Also Gemini. That's super interesting. Disconnecting with friends, someone losing their self-worth, someone coming in with truth. You do have your head in the sand about something, or they do. Someone possibly coming in to offer an apology. Like the sheepish, slow little. I don't want to be the half to one to tell you this, but things aren't as sunshiny and rosy as you think they are. That's what I'm catching off of this right now. Fast forward to this week. Why the two of swords? One card, please. Chariot reversed. Hmm. Trying to close a gap. This is friends trying to return. This is someone you disconnected from up here. Somebody's coming in with truth this week. One more.
Nine of Cups. Oh, wow. Filling cups with truth. I love you. I care about you. I want the best for you. Whatever is going on right now is not the best for you. I'm going to shove my nose right into your business. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what's really going on. And believe it or not, it is possible to fill someone's cups and dump someone's cups at the same time. Being a Sag, I do it a lot. Blunt, honest. I'm not a sugar coater with my friends either. I'm kind of a Debbie Downer friend like that. Anyway, why is the Knight of Swords here? Queen of Pentacles reversed. I don't like it. We need to turn this queen back in the upright. One more. The moon reverse. Hmm. Or maybe we don't need to turn that queen back into the upright because this is just now making sense. Somebody who's not who they say they are. Somebody who's not the catch they make themselves out to be. And truths are about to be spoken again this is not the first go around with whoever this friend is <clears throat> but they're gonna grab you by the shoulders and pull the head out of your sand yeah <laughs> pull the head out of your sand pull your head out of the sand that's for sure just <laughs> hello wake up third party stuff ain't so bad I guess in that instance you know if it's helpful let's get your advice ace of cups in the reverse temperance in the upright <clears throat> It's extremely hard to come in and burst someone's bubble or have your bubble bursted. It's not an easy thing kicking over somebody's cup if they think everything is roses and sunshine in their world. Okay, let's read these four together. Speaking of nosy Sagittarians, could be a nosy Sagittarian friend that's going to come help you out. Doesn't necessarily have to be. If it's yours, take it. If it's not, throw it out. You need to be patient with yourself, patient with your friends, patient with the connection. Do some self work. How do I put this gently? Understand that sometimes it's okay to love yourself enough to let someone go. Cups in the reverse, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. A couple more.
Be extremely careful which cups you ignore and which cups you take. And be mindful of which cups are helpful and which cups are harmful. And you have to trust that you're making the right decision. Can you see that? It's the strength card. Strength card, I see it as a card of trust because that woman has to be extremely trusting that that lion isn't going to rip her head off. And that lion has to trust that she's not going to harm him either. And sometimes your friends, they have to come in and kick your cups over. But sometimes that's what friends are supposed to do. And it takes a true friend to go in and say, hey, listen, something ain't right. Your, your real true friends are going to be the ones that say, um, this ain't cool what's going on behind your back. And I don't want to be the one to have to tell you this, but I love you enough to burst your bubble right now. Weird, right? Whew, that was heavy. Let me know what happens. I am so sorry. Whoa. I'm a Scorpio Venus, so I'm kind of wondering what's going to ha happen with my week. Wow, I thought the Earth sign one was raw. Holy cow. I mean, my gosh, I know Mars just went into retrograde, what, about 10 days ago, 12 days ago? But... Ain't got to be all like that. <laughs> okay. Fire sign friends. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles dropped out of the bottom of the deck. We'll see if it comes back out. Maybe something fantastic and fruitful is headed for you. Let's hope. Two more shuffles. Six of Wands and the Devil. Hmm. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or another fire sign. Could be a little bit about sugar and spice and everything nice. Could be something totally toxic. Either way, a powerful connection, something you're, you're tied and bound to, could be returning to you this week. We'll dive a little bit deeper, shall we? All right, what happened? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, Nine of Swords in the upright. A seed didn't grow. Somebody got up in their thoughts about it, kept up at night, lost a lot of sleep. Okay. Fast forward a little bit. Two of Wands in the reverse, Page of Pentacles in the upright. Somebody got stuck at the crossroads not knowing what to do. I'm going to find out what this Page of Pentacles is all about. That could be an apology. That could be an offer of abundance. Hmm. Okay. Well, what's going to happen this week? Hmm, toxic. Potentially toxic. I don't I don't want the devil card to be totally associated with toxicity, because it's not. It's potentially toxic. Binding, if anything else. Something's coming in to level the playing field this week with this justice card. Things weren't fair, equal, or even in the past. Somebody's coming in to correct that potentially this week. Could be a new start and passion. New start in action. Could be a do-over. Let's get a little bit of clarity. Isn't it ironic? I think the fire signs is going to be the easiest one on me tonight. 
just saying. Usually the fire signs is like pulling teeth. I'm not blasting. I'm st I'm speaking truth. I'm a fire sign, so it's okay. Two. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my fire sign friends, please? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One for the Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, please. One card for clarity. One card, one card, one card. Ten of Swords reversed. Sun ain't been shining for a while, has it? Cycle didn't close out. I don't think somebody let the worst of this be over. Somebody got up in their head about it and stayed there. Because the seed didn't grow. Somebody didn't allow for closure. Okay. Fair enough. Maybe that's why we got a return coming. Hmm. Two of Wands reversed, Page of Pentacles in the upright. One card, please. One card. Oh my. Come on. The Hermit. Nice. Could be a Virgo you're dealing with. Somebody got stuck at the crossroads. Finding that inner life, doing some introspecting, some self-work possibly, some healing. Could be you, could be the person you're dealing with. One more, just for kicks. One more. Two of Wands in the upright. Sometimes you gotta do a little bit of introspection to figure out which way you're going. get steered down the correct path. That's how you do it. One on this page of pentacles just by itself, please. I want to know what this is. Hi. Two of pentacles flies out in the reverse. Somebody could have extended an olive branch of apology and got somebody all juggling some emotions. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. The cycle never closed out. So. If it's resonating with you. If it's your story. Cool. If it's not. Walk away from it. <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles. Somebody definitely did some work on themselves though. That's important. Goes along with the hermit. All right, as for this week, why is justice here? Hair fit in the river. Oh, sorry, the high priest. Same card. Comes flying out, lands in the reverse, right next to justice. One more. I like it. King of Wands. Three of Cups. Could be a fire sign person. Specifically Aries. I mean, you know. Setting off alarms. Cool if it's not. Yeah. It's a sense of closure. I dropped that. We're going to throw it back in. It was the Ten of Pentacles, though. We'll see if it comes back out. I think somebody is going to come back and try to smooth things over. This is a, it's not going to be the blessed union that you necessarily wanted, but it's... I think you'll come to a place of cordiality and friendship, at the very least. Possibly. 
if that's what you want. If you want to tell them to kick rocks, go for it. I mean, it's whatever. Take a long walk off a short pier. Page of Pentacles comes back out. Might have been a long time coming, but an apology is an apology. That is if you didn't get it up here, because now that I look at this, they could have been a little bit emotionally mixed up and couldn't quite spit that apology out because they were in a process of self-work, healing, doing what they needed to do. Why is Ace of Wands here? Oh, we got a twofer. Four of Pentacles in the Moon. Okay. That's interesting. One more. Ten of Pentacles upright, ten of wands reversed. Mysterious. It's calling for a new start or a do over. Somebody's still holding on to stuff. Somebody still def desperately needs to get something off their chest with this Ten of Wands reversed. But the Ten of Pentacles came back out. That's abundance. That's, that's definitely potential for a happy ending with this new start. With this moon card. Things may not be as they appear. Take that for whatever it's worth. Let's get some advice from my fire sign friends. I think I'm going to call it a night. Five of Wands reversed, Nine of Wands in the upright. Maybe time to lay down some weapons and give something one last push. It may not be time to throw that tunnel in after all. Keep your guard up. By all means, keep your guard up, but you don't have to fight about it. You can remain guarded without being confrontational. I think there's been enough conflict, conflict and confrontation here already. Six of Swords, upright. Seven of Cups, upright. For some of you, it may be time to move on and keep your options open. For some of you. And if that's what it is, that's what it is. It's your decision. Do what you want. I'm just reading cards, guys. I'm not going to tell you how to live. It's not my job. I got enough of my own mess I got to figure out. Mm. Four of Wands in the upright. Knight of Cups in the reverse. In order to maintain your stability and your solid foundation, be careful what cups you take. That's, that's sound advice from the cards right there. I don't know who that's for, but there it is. High Priestess, Upright, Four of Cups in the reverse. Eyes open, up in front of you, 
Don't look down, don't look left, don't look right in front of you. You will know. Speaking of watching which cups you take, watch which cups you ignore. Don't put too much thought into it. Don't put too much emotion into it. Because you need to be able to listen to your intuition so you know. Because things aren't always as they appear, are they? Someone may say one thing, but they want another. By the looks of things, you guys are pretty tightly bound, too. So, again, I'm just reading cards, and it's been one heck of a night. Wow, over an hour again. i got to work on my speed. Wow. I love you guys. Be blessed. Have one hell of a week. I will talk to you guys. I'm going to start doing... Take this ring off. I'm going to start doing the October reads on Tuesday, because Tuesday will be the first day that my son will be off to school in like six months. Super excited. I get the house to myself for the first time in six months. And you better believe I'm going to be throwing down some cards. So be blessed. Take care. Catch you in a couple days.